Hi everybody, so part two of uh, the uh, new feature in ESB on um, the QR codes being available available for parents to share evidence with you uh, from home. So now I'm going to jump into uh, the parent view. So I'm going to try my best to use my webcam to show you the capture app and I'm going to um, use the screens QR code as opposed to printing it out um, as my demonstration. So the student that we were using in, my, in part one was the Lisa Lee. So I'm going to jump into learning story. That was just, and part of the instructions is to go to learning story and print QR codes to see the QR code for that class. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my QR, um, Edsby capture on my smartphone and see what happens here. So I am now in the capture app. And all this is when you open it is just a screen. It says scan QR code. So I'm just going to flip my camp, my phone around, scan the QR code for this class. And now it's actually asking me now to take a picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to take a picture of uh, a lamp. Sure. After you take the photo, it just asks you to retake or hit check mark for um, confirm. And then it's going to say upload complete when it's completed. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like on desktop for a teacher. So flipping over to teacher view, I'm going to go into my ENG 1D. And under evidence, the image that I just uh, took, and I think I, I forgot to turn it. I apologize. I should have taken my time. But uh, the image uploads directly into the evidence area for Lisa Lee. The first tab in evidence is all evidence. The second one is organized. And you can organize it by student. So I can go down to Lisa Lee and only her evidence is there. Um, now what happens is this piece of evidence I can now edit by double tapping. If I wanted to write an observation or any uh, add any frames or expectations, I can do that here. And if I want to reshare that back to the parent or the student for them to see, I would just have to check this box off and click Save. Um, or I'm just going to create a uh, capture. I'm just going to add some notes here for the parents to see as my demonstration. Now I've shared it. And you'll notice it right here, a uh, little share icon appears in the top right corner. Now, if I go back over to parent view, I'm sorry for back and forth, but I want to give you a full demonstration here how this works. Um, a notification for that class says, oh, something's been shared in that class. So I can go into that class as a parent. And, uh, oh, I apologize. You have to go into learning story for that student. So if I go into Lisa Lee's learning story, I can now see the note for what happened and the image that was taken from for this is my I'm in as a parent in this screen and if I wanted to like it I can I can write a little comment uh, back to the teacher and I'm just gonna move over here for a second share and I'm just showing you again full demonstration of what this looks like and now if I go back over to evidence I see that there's a like and I don't believe there's a comment, but you actually get to the, the light, which is actually a great uh, way of knowing if parents are, are getting the images that you're seeing. And I don't think the comments come through. So um, let's just double check here. Lee. Uh, no. Okay, that's okay. So the parent gets to see the, the comment. But any, in any case, I just wanted to share that. Uh, that piece of uh, the workflow, I guess, from using Capture, where it goes, and what the teacher uh, would want to do with it, and then how uh, to communicate that back to, to parents. So hopefully that helps. Uh, all of this information will be posted on our um, Learn at Home page for parents to learn more about, as well as the um, EDSB uh, page within our education staff portal. Thanks.